guys, welcome back. Um, as I say, no podcast this week uh, because there was, there's no game to talk about. So we'll be back next week with podcast. Um, this is the second episode of the Free Hammer Shorts. Um, the first episode was Things We Liked, which was really hard show to make um, because it always leads back into this part that we're going to do now. And this is Dislikes. Um, so I'll tell you what, we'll go reverse this time. So last time we started at the top, we'll start at the bottom because this okay. is... We're talking about the bad things. So, Sheffield United. Uh, what a lovely club. <laughs> um, I think it goes without saying, doesn't it? it? As a West Ham fan, if you don't have some sort of dislike towards this club, you know, they took 25 million from us because we cheated. Um, I, just, I just don't like them. I don't like that we're blamed for staying up when there wasn't moaning when Carlos didn't do nothing for 14 games before his mm. little run. So, yeah. I, yeah. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, they, they, we could do an entire video just to talk about that, you know, <laughs> how, how much it was rubbish, how apparently Tevez is one pla- is the only player that did anything to keep us up. He kept us up on his own and there was like... There was no Rob the, Green. There was no Bobby Zamora. Yeah, it was absolute nonsense. Like you say, didn't do anything for however many months. Um, it was in Sheffield United's own hands. On the last day of the season, if they got a result, they would have stayed up. But yeah, they didn't. Lonsworth missed the penalty, wasn't it? Yeah, didn't they lose like a penalty or something? Didn't they lose like their last three games, four games yeah. or something? You know, um, which sent them down. It was their own fault. But West Ham got the blame. Got absolutely dragged through the gutter, and still hurts us today, mate. I still think the the press still today, and a lot of football fans still have something against us because of that whole thing. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think, yeah, that uh, hurt us as a club for a long, long time. I think it's slowly turning. It's mm. slowly turning, I think, because of the ball that they're triggering it towards that rather than the club. But, yeah, definitely it hurt us for a long, long time. Mm. Um, West Brom, oh, easy. Sam Adidas, can't stand him. Didn't get the West Ham way. Not the West Ham way. Um, never got the fan base. Boring football. And just, I don't know, a vile, arrogant man. No, hmm. yeah, um, but got us in, got us back in the prem. I can respect that. Yeah, he did. He did for us. He did what he was tasked to do. Just about scraped us through the playoffs. When realistically, before the season started, everyone was saying we had the best uh, best team in that league. We should have walked that league easily. Only just did it. Um, but he got us up. But yeah, no. I, anyone who watches this show knows my thoughts on Allardyce. I hate Sam Allardyce. Can't stand the man. Everything about him, everything about him, um, and like you say, boring, dour football, the arrogance, um, the, the, the comments of it, I, I'm suited to Real Madrid. All right, mate. Um, yeah, yeah, delusional, and he called West Ham fans deluded. Um, right, yeah, Can't and stand I think, it. and this is nothing against West Brom fans. I think we're all in here, mates, that hoping he goes down so he can't use that mantra yeah. anymore of I've never took a team down, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Fulham, what do I hate about Fulham? They're just, a, again, it's going to be quite a common answer through this. It, they're, they're a bit of a mer club, you know, not, mm. they don't really do much, really. They're not, you know, they're overshadowed by Chelsea, literally a park in between them. Um, they're just, just a bit boring, a bit flat. The stadium's not that great. Yeah, for me, mate, I, I t- sort of touched on it on the last video, but for me, it's the, the stadium. Um, Craven Cottage is the worst stadium like for a Premier League football club, it's shambolic, mate. It mm. really is. It's a terrible, terrible stadium. Um, mm. Yeah. So, so that that's that's for, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some I'm of like these are, again, some of these on the dislikes are quite hard as well, just purely because there's not much. I'm yeah, it's the same much. thing, you know. Like I say, again, we touched on it in the last video. A lot of these clubs, and I said this at the start, and I said this before we started recording. That I've, I'm going to find it difficult because I don't really care about most of these other, other clubs. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't uh, really Newcastle, care. I think, I don't know, I think you've got to go Mike Ashley in it because I yeah. think, again, I think I feel the sympathy because the GSB thing, you know, it's very much a similar thing. Um, I've liked a lot of Newcastle players through the years, so I can't say any of their players I've disliked. But yeah, the, Mike Ashley has just absolutely rinsed that club for everything it's worth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, again, mate, exactly on the same page. Um, Ashley, like you say, similar. I, I, don't, I don't think he's as bad as our owners, um, but definitely a, a club like Newcastle deserves so much more. Um, 
So, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you, mate. It'd be Ashley there. Yeah. Uh, this week gets a bit, mm, again, Brighton. Uh, what do I don't? Uh, I'll tell you what, Brighton remind the only thing, and he doesn't even play for him anymore, is um, Glenn Murray. Mm. I, I just, whenever I think Brighton, I think Glenn Murray. Does he still play for him? He doesn't. He plays for Nottingham Forest now. So, I have to go back to the past. Every time we played them, that man scored against us. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's my hate for them. <laughs> uh i i would struggle to again brighton like you say we said it before they're just uh it's difficult to think of things we liked about brighton difficult to think about things we hate about them as well like you say mate they're just a uh, 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 meh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, they always seem to do well against us i think we we have trouble beating brighton yeah no no they are a bit of a bogey team yeah so yeah we'll say that burnley um I think it's just the way they play football, you know. It's very, it's all that workman like, isn't it? You can't. I don't think you could say that you enjoy watching Burnley play football. You know, they're they're just they're so good at the the dirty stuff. But I, I can't say I, I wouldn't pick Burnley out to watch on telly. There you go. That's me trying to be as fair as possible. No, no, I I agree there, mate. Um, it's interesting though because on the last episode you said you like their manager. That was what you. No, picked I do. Out. I, no, but I like him as a per character. All right, so as a character, yeah, football, but not as a. Yeah. But would you have him at West Ham? I think I, I would have before Moyes. I would mm. have, but I've been changed now. You know, I, I can respect that Moyes, you know, was doing the best with what he had, and given two or three transfer windows, we you could potentially see something quite special at West Ham. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Southampton. Um, it's hard to say what I dislike about them because I don't. I quite like them as a club. Like I say, it's quite hard to pick a dislike for them. Uh, I was trying to think if there's been any really bad incidences with them over the past. Not really. I got. It's, that's, that's a really hard one actually, Southampton. I, there's not much I dislike about them. No. Um, I managed them, and I, I didn't really like Harry at the time. Mm. Yeah, it's a diff- like you say, mate. It's a difficult one. They're what? They're another club. You know, they, they're, like you say, they're quite a good football club. Yeah, um, it's hard hard to pick a dislike with him. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Palace, I hate their fans. Their fans, <laughs> I can't stand them. The poxy eagle thing. Like, what is that about? Come on, get over it. But then they could say that about what's the ammo running around as a robot. <laughs> yeah, what's the ammo running around? And, and, uh, and the bear. What what about what's the bubbles all about? Why do you, bubble, yeah, yeah. you set bubbles off every yeah. time you score a goal? Yeah, there's a few things you say. Uh, for for me, is is Zaha. Zaha is a good player. I think I, I genuinely don't think he's as good as I think he's he's at his level. I think if Zaha went to a, a so called big club, I don't think he'd be anything too special, mate. I really don't. I think yeah, I think um, he he could be guilty of uh, falling into the background. Mm. You know, like how Lingard has, and, and I don't want to slate Lingard, but how Lingard's come to West Ham and he's superstar. You know, you can tell yeah. he, he's played. But at Manchester United, you know, he's dwarfed. He's dwarfed yeah. by Pogba, Bruno Fernandes. And, and I think yeah. maybe that is what Zaha could potentially be. Very, very good comparison, mate. Yeah, very good comparison. Um, I, I, I agree. And his, his attitude, you know, when he plays the... Bit sulky. He's proper sulky. He he loves a moan, a proper whinge and a moan. Um, uh, he's he's. I can't stand him. I can't can't stand him. Mm. Yeah, so it's always um always quite a good game though the West Ham Palace game. Always tasty little game. Uh, what don't I like about Wolves? Um, for me with Wolves, it would be the fact that they are essentially being run by an agent. Agent, yeah. Um, I don't like that. Obviously, it's not done too bad for them, but it's it's to me it seems dodgy, you know. And we, we you know we were it's talking like about it's like a Real Madrid sort of feeder club, you know. Like, yeah, um, you know it's. I, I don't I don't know I don't I don't really, you know if you if you we were talking about Sheffield United, you know if you go back to when we had um, Kia Jurabchi and with sort of Tevez and Mascarano, like they've basically taken that to a whole nother level, mm. um, and I don't really like that. I don't really like that. Yeah, I think that's a fair point, mate. Uh, Leeds. What do I hate about Leeds? Um, it's going to be like the historical rivalry, isn't it? You know, the... Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's because we have such a terrible record against them as well. 
at Ellen Road, mate. And I know we won there this year, but I tell you what, before that, it's a bloody long time ago since we won up there. Um, yeah, I, I think that's what it is. And, and the fact they stole Rio, uh, they didn't mm. steal Rio, they paid 18 million for him. But, you know, at the time, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> um, paid for the new stand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's crazy when you think about that because we sold him for what was what a world record fee for, for a defender at the time, yeah. and then what was it? Eighteen months later, they sold him for thirty-two million. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. It's easy, easy. Fans, I can't stand them. They're so arrogant. They're mm -hmm. so. Um, what is the word? You know, like where you expect things. What, what is that word? Entitled. Entitled. Yeah, so entitled. Um, and like, there's a guy I work with, and he says West Ham never finished above us in a Premier League. Oh, please, this year, please, <laughs> please, please, mate. If we don't finish above Arsenal this year, I'd be it's very that. disappointed. I think, I think we would have to collapse massively to 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 finish behind Arsenal now. Uh, but yeah, like I agree, mate. The fans, you know, their stupid poxy fan the channels. The interview, like they're like you say, mate, so arrogant, so entitled, so out of touch with reality. Mm -hmm. Like the things that um, Arsene Wenger did for that club, and the way they turned on him, ah, oh, it's disgusting. Well, it's, it's, it, someone asked me this question, mate, and maybe this is a good chance to ask this. So, say for example, Moisey got us into a consistent, and we was consistently finishing top five, top six. At what point, as fans, do we go? Oh, we can't take any further. Do you know, are See, we guilty as that as football fans? I think it's the way that you go about it, though. I fair enough, right? If if, if you know Arsene Wenger was there for a long, long time, he did absolute miracles for that club. You know, absolute miracles for that club. And even if you decided, right, listen, he's been here a long, 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 long time. It's time for a change. It's time for something new. You know, to take us to that next step to push us on. That's fair enough. But it's the way you go about it. They yeah. hounded that man out of the club. Yeah. Yeah. Like the and treatment, winning FA Cup every year, as winning yeah, the, FA Cup and getting fourth every year. The treatment of him was disgraceful. Yeah. How far really away was. are they from fourth now? How far yeah. away are they from being a consistent Champions League team? Mm. Miles away. Uh, Villa, what do I hate about Villa? Is this is all past stuff? This is, um, Aston Villa gave me one of the most painful games ever when Paolo Di Canio missed the penalty against David James, future hammer. Um, yeah, it's just it all goes back to that game. There's always been that little bit of bitterness and hate towards them because of that game. Um, Ian Taylor, just flashbacks of Ian Taylor running through Stimach. Um, and obviously, Greedish, as much as we say we like him, I think you've got to say that there's a lot to hate about him as well as a player. Oh, no, and Stan, there's no doubt about it. It's Greedish for me. Um, I can't, like, like I said in the last video, you know, he's got that seller thing about him where he's a class player. He's a class player. Fantastic footballer. Fantastic footballer. But he's a cheating, diving little twat. He's a snide little git. Do you know what I mean? He probably like is. He's haircut either. He's, he's one of them where you literally, like, you just want to slap him. He, and he doesn't need to do it. That's the thing. It's the frustration of it. You know, like I say, let's say similar, and I'm sure we'll talk about him. Yeah, yeah we will. But yeah. um, all, that, all the talent, but then still cheating, diving, falling over, screaming, jumping up in the air, holding the wrong leg. Did you see a um, match of the day last night? Like I, I, was, <laughs> yeah, it, that, that? That, yeah, it was Aubameyang, wasn't it? Uh, no, Lacazette was, Lacazette. Oh, it was Lacazette, I thought it was yeah. Aubameyang, yeah, the scream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go and play rugby or get in a boxing ring, lads. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. We, uh, we might need a, another hour on this bit. <laughs> um, fans, arrogance, certain players of the past, the fact that they deny that that the West Ham game means anything to them. Um, oh, I just hate them. I, I, I just hate them as a football club. I hate them. Every, everything about them, mate. Everything about them. Um, chairman, Levy, yeah, he runs the club well, but obviously the whole thing with us in the stadium and how they blocked us, um, threatened to take us to court to get money for their own stadium you know the way they bullied their way to get in the land off of people um uh, uh, just i just hate everything about them i hate everything about tottenham i really do um the, the players everything like i say whenever there's a good player that plays for tottenham like harry kane now you know if you want to talk as an england fan fantastic you know unbelievable so glad to see him doing well 
But then if you want to talk about just in general, I, I, every week I want him to fall over and break his leg. You know? <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's such a horrible thing to say about a human being. But it is. You just think, God, I just want him to flop all the time. I never want him to get relegated, though. I just want him <laughs> to be like crap, just like dregs. I want him to yeah. be a dregs thing. Yeah, I can't stand him. Uh, Liverpool, again, I used to like him as a club. I used to think he was quite a you know, nice guy. But I've got to say, man, I can't stand their fans anymore. Mm. The arrogance, it's the... And again, maybe this is not their fault to a certain extent, the fans. It's the Sky Sports punditry. Mm. Really, what, what is the Sky Sports punditry? 70% Liverpool? Yeah, and, you know, Sooners, uh, Redknapp, Carragher. I can't stand it. it. It could be a game against Barcelona versus Osasuna. And it would somehow get back to Liverpool mm-hmm. for half an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree, mate. Um, it's the whole they they are the media darlings. Mm. They are the media darlings. Um, they're, they're victim, Paul. You know, always the victim. Everything's nothing's ever their fault. Everything's always against them. Um, again, it's the their their the sheer arrogance mm. of their fans of the club. Of the players, I can't stand Jurgen Klopp. I hate him. Um, whenever, whenever Saint goes wrong, whenever Saint goes, it's someone else's fault. It's always the excuses. Um, uh, and Salah, yeah. man, Salah again. Back to Salah. that you know, fantastic footballer, but Jesus Christ, the diving this season has been ridiculous, ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, it, it it's the sort of thing that has to, that must be being encouraged by mm-hmm. the management team and the coaching team. Um, mm-hmm. Horrible club, horrible club. Um, horrible club. They are, they're an horrible club. And obviously, club. it's the FA Cup memories for you, mate, as well. Yeah, uh, the worst day of my life, mate. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I was there, I was at that game, and I'll never forget it. It was absolutely heartbreaking. See, it was, it was the, it was, it was everything that game because it was the hope. Like mm. you just thought, this is it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna. Do this it. is it. You genuinely thought, this is it. We're gonna do it. This is it. And as soon as Gerard hate Steven Gerrard, can't stand Steven Gerrard, as soon as he <laughs> scored that equaliser, and I'm sure every single West Ham fan was the same. I know everyone in the stadium, their hearts sank because that yeah. was it. You knew it. You knew it. it didn't matter what happened for now. You knew, you knew that was it. And that was the longest coach ride home ever. And it was just the pain of that. I'll never get over that pain. No, man, it's horrible. It's horrible. I've seen it a few times, but I haven't watched it since I haven't, I genuinely, I have not been able to watch it since. You still go through the same ride. Actually, when you watch it, it, it's that you get like, Oh, Dean Ashton's put us two new up. And then you still go through that roller coaster when you're watching it. Oh, apologies. If you can hear any noise in the background, guys, it's like a building site in my uh, house at a minute. Geezer downstairs doing his drive. Um, Everton. Um, what do I dislike about them? Shall I tell you what? It's, It's a weird one. This it's when McCarthy, did Pyatt mm. and what might have been if Dimitri Pyatt wouldn't have got injured for three months that season. Mm. That, mm. That's going to be my one for Evan. That's a really good shout, actually, mate. That is a really good shout. Um, yeah, Evan's a weird one. I, I, like I say, I, I, I haven't really I've got anything. I've always liked him as a club. I've always quite liked him as a club. Yeah, I haven't really got anything against Evan, to be honest. Like I say, uh, you know, we, again, we spoke about it last time and um, we, we, speak about all the time you know the way that they've consistently it's that it's that isn't it that's the word it's the consistency you know it's building so that you say that maybe your dislike is a slight maybe a jealousy to, that they're doing it and we're not maybe possibly yeah possibly yeah possibly yeah. um maybe that will change you know maybe maybe that will change now um mm. we'll see but yeah it's difficult i i, I haven't really got much against Everton. Yeah, I, I, I like really the manager, I like the players they've got. Yeah, so it's quite a hard run, actually. But yeah, if I had to pick at straws, it would be when McCarthy did play it. I did have a little mm. bit of hate because there was a bit of stuff from their fans around that at the time. Oh, here we go. The fun ones. Come on. Um, well, he's recently left, uh, but Frank Lampard is synonymous for me with my hatred towards Chelsea Football Club. Um, they were the first team with money you know the first big money um and they just at the time bought the league i know it's because i'm going to contradict myself with manchester city later but i I just can't stand chelsea john terry ashley cole 
Do you know what I think the difference is, mate, between Chelsea and City? I, I genuinely, I don't think the City fans have forgot where they came from. I don't think they have. I think the City fans, uh, you know, like I say, their their fan base is really good. I, th- I don't think they've forgot where they've come from. Chelsea have. Chelsea have. You know, they've forgot where they've come from. Um, yeah, and and obviously the the big one is Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. You know, my most hated player of all time. I actually oh, really? had a shirt with, with... The next, with the next club coming up. That's a big shout. Well, it is, but like, I, I, Frank is just. I just. I just. I, I just can't. I'm glad he was I'm sorry. I don't care. I know, I know we're going to get a bit of abuse because there are some West Ham fans out there that do go. Why do you hate Lampard? But I just can't stand the geezer. He See, was I... definitely trying to go after Rice as well to damage us. He may like him as a player, and you can say Man United liked him, Man City liked him, but he definitely had some back intention that it would ruin West Ham. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, when it comes to Lampard, anyone who says, why do you hate Frank, but not this player, that player, this player, that player, you know, the likes of, you know, Rio and and Joe Cole, and, and even even recently, um, the likes of Jermaine Defoe, you know, I hated Jermaine Defoe when he left, but s- since then, recently, in the last few years, They've said nice things about the club. Yeah. The foes come out and said, I made a mistake. I regret the way things went down. I regret the way things happened. I wish it had happened differently. Um, you know, I made a mistake. Put his hands up. I respect him for that. I've got nothing against Jermaine Defoe. Joe you know. came back as well. Joe, you know? Joe came back and he's always, you know, watching him as a pundit now, watching him when he's doing West Ham games. He's very much a, he's, he's it's a we, whole we, we, and we. Yeah. that, you know, he's still got that affinity for the club. I, I have to say though, Rio's sort of lost me the last year or yeah, so. He goes a bit, mm, Rio, he's, he? he's 100%, he's a mank, 100%. Mm. Um, and it's a shame. But obviously, you know, we don't really hold anything against him from a from a player perspective. But Frank never misses an opportunity to stick the boot in. Never. And I didn't like the comment. It's, it's, there's a comment that sticks out loads with Frank. It's the, when Joe first came, he used to look out for the West Ham results. And when West Ham lost, I would have a little giggle to myself. Mm-hmm. There you go. Now, as a West Ham fan, ask yourself if that hurts you or not. I can't stand the man. Can't stand him. You know, oh, he, he yes, he went on to achieve more than he ever would have done yeah. at West Ham. But West, he, if it weren't for West Ham, he wouldn't be anything. If it weren't well, for well, his yeah. dad and his uncle. And I know the I whole... Was asked, I was asked this question in work by a Chelsea fan. And he said, because I was really digging out Frank, and he was saying about, Oh, you you can't say that he's no record Premier League uh, goal scorer for a midfielder, and would he have got that chance if he would have just come for the Chelsea Academy? I don't think if Frank Lampard Senior wasn't a footballer that Frank would have been given the opportunity. But you can't discredit what he done as a footballer. You can't discredit no. that. But would he have got the opportunity if Big Frank wasn't his dad? Mm. Yeah, um, it's and it's hard because people are going to dig me out there. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, I think that's fair, mate. You know, that was obviously the big criticism of him when he was at West Ham, was the whole mm. nepotism. Oh, he's only playing because his dad and his uncle. Um, and obviously, you know, you could say he proved them fans, including me, wrong, because he did yeah. go on and achieve greatness in the game. Mm. But it's the way that he's he, he, he hates West Ham as much as we hate him. Yeah. Well, we've got a whole song about him, haven't we? A few songs about him. <laughs> Right, three more clubs. Manchester United. Oh, um, growing up, the years we did, you know, the secondary school years we did, Manchester United were the be all and end all. Cockney Reds, everything. Um, we used to have to go to school and listen to it all the time. All the Man United fans, and it's that, you know, it's that, it's that, that era of Manchester United that I hate. Very mm. arrogant. Very again, media darlings, you know, all the time, all the pundits are there. Yeah, I just yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, and again, just similar to Liverpool, it's the fans and the entitlement of the fans, the arrogance of the fans, um, you know, constantly bringing up history. Mm. Um, yeah, and it, it's, I have to say, I've mellowed the last few years. No, I, have, I have, I have, uh, not on the club, on. Wayne Rooney. Ooh. Ooh. So for me, for me... This is a man who used to walk around with a I hate Rooney on his West Ham shirt. Yeah, I literally had a West Ham shirt with I number eight Rooney on it. You need to pick that out somewhere. I have no idea where that is, mate. No idea. But um, (laughs) 
So yeah, I remember we always used to get asked about it. When we used to live in Mallorca, people used to go to, why'd you eat Rooney, mate? Why'd you, why'd you eat Rooney? Why'd you eat Rooney? Um, I couldn't stand him. But do you know what? If I'm being honest with myself, it, it was jealousy. I was jealous. Yeah, because he's the same age as us. Yeah, exactly. It was, <laughs> oh, I was so young and he come through and, and uh, so, I, I hated, and some of the goals he scored against West Ham. Oh, God. That's um, some of the best goals I've ever seen against yeah, West Ham. Yeah, I have to say, I've, I've mellowed on him. Over the last few years, I don't, I don't, I don't hate. I think, Wayne I think you can look back at him now and admire what a fantastic player he was. Yeah. He really was a fantastic player, fantastic player. Yeah, I hated him at the time. I don't, hate, I don't hate him anymore. <laughs> That's nice, mate. That shows maturity. Leicester. Um, I don't think I've got anything to represent it. Um... <laughs> there you go. That's what I hate about Leicester. I, th I thought I thought Lee was back on the channel for a minute there. Oh, well, funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the happy clappers. I can't stand that. Um, it's really hard because uh, you know what it is. I, I like Jamie Vardy is someone I love to hate mm. like when he plays against us. But actually, when I watch Leicester and he's not West Ham, I love Jamie Vardy. But when he's against us, I absolutely hate him when he's against us, Jamie Vardy. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Um, I, I, I agree. Do you know, I'm trying to think why why I dislike Vardy. And do you know what it is? It it's, just winds people up. But it's not even that, mate. For me, it's it's the cheating. Again, it's the cheating. Like the 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 penalties that he wins where he literally just runs into the box and he clips it's his own leg. Up. Yeah. Yeah. He'll 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 move into the defender and he'll trip over his own leg and go down. Um I hated that. Hate mm. it. I don't think he can do it anymore because of VAI. He can't really get away with it. Um, but yeah, I hated that about him. Um, and and I, again, so I, I actually said this in the last video. I liked about them that you know they broke the mold and they went on and they won the league. But at the time when they won the league, I kind of hated them for it as well. No, again, no, because I wanted it to be us. Yeah, exactly. It's a jealousy thing, you know. I was like, mm -hmm. I, I wanted this to be us. Um, everyone, everyone loves an underdog until the underdog looks like they're going to win. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard with Leicester though. Again, like I said, I do admire them as a club and they do play some lovely football. Uh last one. Manchester City. What do I hate about Manchester City? I, I tell you what, again, and I know you said this in what you like about Guardiola, and I'm clutching at straws a little bit here. This is what I don't like about Guardiola. Sometimes I have to say that he can be a bit lazy in terms of the coaching. Mm. So instead of going, okay, I'm gonna sit here and coach. Mendy, for example, I'm going to go and coach Walker, for example. Oh, no, I'll tell you what, I'll go and spend 50 million on Cancelo and 50 million on this one. And don't get me wrong, John Stone seems to have come on now and got to that point. But he, it's like he'd rather go and spend 50, 60 million for a quick fix. Look at the bench the other day, 350 million pound on the bench. That's hmm. not including, um, what's his name? My boy, Phil Foden. That, that, for me, is the only thing I think you can question Sometimes Pep's a bit lazy with the coaching. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, for me, I would say it's the whole it is the whole money thing, you know, that the they have effectively come in and bought bought their seat at the table. Um the fact that their bench is worth more than most teams' first eleven. The fact, yeah, the fact that their second eleven would probably <laughs> have Still a go at the winning the league yeah. on their own. Um, yeah, that's a problem. That is, it's a problem. You know, it takes away the any competitiveness. It really does. When, especially if you start talking about, can we allow five substitutes? Imagine if City could bring five players off the bench. <laughs> like you, you wouldn't be able to touch them. You would not be able to touch them. No. Um, and that, that's a, it's a problem. I don't know how they address it. I really don't. I don't know if you can. You know, I, I really don't. Unless everybody else in the league ends up with owners with the same kind of money. I don't know how you get around that as a problem. Um, yeah, I think that's a valid point, mate. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, that brings to an end our two short series here. If you've enjoyed these, and, you know, sometimes, and I'll tell you when these might become more relevant, is in the summer, obviously, when there's no West Ham games. If there's ideas that you want me and Paul to debate about and we can release them during the week, we can obviously get together on the weekend and me and Paul can put, like, three or four videos together. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have. Please put in the comments, like, what you hate about clubs and what you like about clubs. Until next time, guys, come on your wines. Keep believing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Let's go.